welcome to day number 18 of Vlogmas. We made it that far. Jeez, only seven more days left. That's pretty bananas. I like it. So I had to wake up at 6 a.m. this morning to get my life started. I did some foam rolling, some stretching, drank a smoothie, stripped my bed because I have to wash my sheets today. Now I'm in the car. It's about 7.40. I'm going to head over to Bella Strength, do a strength training session. Afterwards is an orthodontist appointment. I'm getting my braces tightened, which I'm excited for, but I'm also not excited for. I definitely need to because I've noticed some weird things going on with my teeth right now. It's have kind of like a crossbite going on. Not a fan of that. But after that, my drone comes today, so maybe I'll fly that around. Also, there's a meeting at 3.30 that I can't say what it is, but it's important. So uh, I, gotta, I gotta drive over and get the day started. Let's do that now. That's country music. I can't believe it. Ugh. Guys, okay, I just wanna say this. Okay, before I say it, I am parked. Emergency brake is on, not going anywhere. A little public service announcement and one of my biggest pet peeves. I know we talked about pet peeves earlier in the Vlogmas series and came to the conclusion that it is better not to have pet peeves. You gotta learn how to be more tolerant and yeah, just become a better person. But this goes beyond that. My biggest pet peeve or just a thing that people do is text and use their phone while they're driving. Don't do it. No. There's other people on the road who value their life and I think you should be attentive and focused all the time. Maybe like changing a song real quick at a stoplight is fine, but nowadays you can if you need to be like talk on the phone you can do it through bluetooth speaker you can still be very focused both hands on the wheel but as soon as you start texting or you like using messenger or checking instagram while you're driving just stop because there's other people on the road and they value their life if you guys text will drive my challenge is my challenge to you is to stop if you need to change your song wait till a stoplight do it real quick but even if it's a really bad song, what's gonna be? What's the worst thing's gonna happen to you? You're gonna listen to it and you're gonna be alive afterwards. All right, I can't wait to get my teeth adjusted because whew, I think I'm developing like a little bit of a crossbite and that's not good. So I need to talk to them about that. Cool, I'm gonna get my face tightened or inside my face tightened. All right, I got back. Got my teeth adjusted and that was, it wasn't very pleasant. Let me just say that. There was a few times where they really got in there and put the rubber band on the brace. And yeah, I'll probably be sore tomorrow in my mouth, which it's not fun getting your braces adjusted. The next appointment is February 5th, right before I head out to California. Uh, now it is probably around one o'clock and I'm making a little bit of lunch have the meeting at 3.30 and, and I do not know what I'm doing the rest of the day. I want to go get my drone at my grandma's house, but I don't really feel like driving all the way out there. I don't know. Tracing back to what I said earlier about dr driving and being on your phone, not to sound like your mother, but I'm going to take it one step further. This is a great time of the year to hear this. And I try to do this practice myself is when I'm with somebody or with a friend, when I'm eating with a group of friends, put your phone away. You can wait until afterwards. Giving people attention and being there to listen to them talk, you'll be surprised how good it feels when someone's not just staring at their phone and they're just sitting there with you. Especially with Christmas coming, coming up and you're gonna be with your family, try giving your family some undivided attention and don't be on your phone. If you need to be on your phone, go use the restroom or just remove yourself from a situation to be on your phone. When you're on your phone, you're on your phone, but when you're with people, you're with people. That's something I'm trying to do right now. You'll still catch me on my phone at certain times 
or whatever that you're probably not supposed to, but I'm trying to do it less and less. I really want to be more mindful of that practice. So, a little challenge for you guys. Not saying, like, we're living in a world where we have to be on our phone. I am 100% pro phone, but there's a time and place for it. And that time and place is probably about 80% of our day. And if we can just cherish that 20% and spend it with people and show that we actually like being around people without technology, I think that's a pretty valuable thing to give somebody. That's, that can be the gift you give somebody this holiday season, your undivided attention. I like it. All right, here is my food. Dang. Welcome to this episode of Do It Yourself with Dad. Today, what are we doing, Dad? Oh, came back to the truck and the license plate is broken. Somehow, I must have hit something. Okay, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog now, but as we do, we announce giveaway winners. And yesterday I asked you guys, what is your favorite shot to watch slash throw in disc golf? And the winning comment is by Kenneth Flint. And he wrote, nothing better than a grenade, breaking through the trees and parking by the basket. I have to agree with Ken. I love throwing a good grenade. It's, uh, it's really cool. I mean, Kenneth, why did I say Kent? And okay, Kenneth, message me on Instagram or Facebook and I'll get this DD2 Paracord by Lark and this coupon out to you. So, send me your address. We're gonna be giving away a 13th run orange sea line PD. PD. Hazy shade, it's got some weird whatever on it, brand new. In order to win this comment, you're gonna comment down below, what is your New Year's resolution? please post your interesting or creative responses in the comment section below. And I just wanna thank you guys. We reached 10,000 subscribers. That's really awesome. Like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. Just to think that 10,000 people watch me is kind of crazy. Like, thank you guys. Without you, none of this would be possible. So until next time, which will be tomorrow on day 19 of Vlogmas, you know the drill. Keep on dreaming in peace.